Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Jedi Academy. Um, right, so uh, how I'm going to be doing these uh, missions is probably just working through them in order. Uh, we're going to be starting with the mercenary action on Tatooine. We've been receiving a number of reports that the disciples of Ragnos have been trying to hire mercenaries and smugglers to haul some cargo. If we can contact one of these mercenary groups, maybe we can find out the cult's base of operations. One of the smuggling rings that we know about is based at Moz Eisley. Go there and see what you can find out. So Moz Eisley, very, very famous in the Star Wars universe. Uh, let's go to Tatooine. This one sounds like it could be nasty, so I'll be going with you. You'll find some of the galaxy's worst lowlifes on Tatooine. Thanks a lot, Kyle. Appreciate it. All right, so this allows us to increase any one force power by a single rank. The maximum rank is three. Click on any light or dark power to upgrade. Core powers cannot be upgraded. Okay. What do we want? Do we want force rage, protection against damage, increase in speed, and increase in damage potential at the expense of health? Hmm. Force lightning. Well, we do love force lightning. Force grip, always hilarious. Force Drain. Transfer the life essence of a person to themselves. Oh. Oh, we have to try that. Force Protection. Yeah. Mind Trick. Useful. Yeah, Force Heal, we know. And can absorb Dark Force Power, Force Push, Force Pull directed at them. Okay. I think we'll go for Force Drain. That just seems like it's going to be fun. Let's uh, move on to the weapon screen. So this allows us to use two weapons and a throwable device. A lightsaber and blaster pistol are given to you. All right, so we've got those two. Uh, we'll take the blaster rifle and and the disruptor rifle, I think. And over here, I probably won't really use these. We'll take thermal detonators just in case. Well, I'll be the Millennium Falcon. Han, Chewie, anybody here? I guess they're out. Luke's info was good. These are definitely freelance cargo ships. You can tell by all the cargo around. I've got a bad feeling about this. Listen, stay here and guard the entrance to the docking bay. If anyone tries to enter or leave, detain them. I'll head over to the crate cantina and ask around. I know some people there. Sure. I'll just wait here. Definitely seems like something I'm going to do. Ah, hi, Chibi. Jedi? Me? No, not yet. I'm one of Kyle Katarn's students. He's talking to some locals. We're investigating a cult that's been cropping up everywhere. You must be Chewbacca. Why are you here? <coughs> Leia Organa? Wow. Must be important business. I'm loving the terrible camera angles that it does on the cutscenes. <coughs> Alright, well, we're definitely going after him. Oh, that's detonators flying around. Right, you. You as well. I want to get my force drain ready. There we go. I don't know how Good idea. We easy. We won't be such easy targets inside. Don't know how easy it's going to be to use it, like what the range is and stuff. But certainly give it a go. Um, right. The hint was to go inside. So let's let's see where we can. Right. 
I think we're going to be limited to going this way because our force jump isn't strong enough to get up. That should have totally got him. Yeah, we don't really have to... Oh, that's how it works. Alright, that's not... It's not terrible. It's not going to be very practical, but... It does seem like a fun one. Good thing Chewie didn't see us doing that. Now, because F is use force power and E is cycle between force power, what is... Enter. Yeah, enter or R. Okay. R is going to be a little bit more practical for us to try. Yeah, that's definitely not, not going to work. Come on, Chewie. Is it just me, or are the Rodians coming? <laughs> Didn't even need to drain him. We need more cover. Let's get back to our ship. I'm def definitely going to need a little bit more health. I'll have your health, thank you. Chewie, you better not shoot me. That'd get me very, very annoyed. I can take down a Jedi. Not convinced you can. Can't go that way. Now I'm trying not to use force speed too much, but I think it is definitely going to make a difference. Oh, I, just, I love that so much. Uh-oh, that looks like a tractor beam of some kind. Yeah, they're locking everything down. We can't get to the ships. The whole place is locked down. All right. So we'll just get a little bit more force energy, and then we're going to force speed round and murder these guys. Oh my word, that is the worst angle to try and fight them. Ah, I, I wanted to drain him. I guess we'll just have to drain the next one. Get as much health out of him as we can. Yeah, full strain, not massively practical. Just a little bit fun. Anyone round here? Ooh. They're definitely following us. Oh really, leaving me in the open. I'll disengage the tractor beams if you think you can hold these guys. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're not coming back this way then. What are you doing? Using you as a portable medkit. I'll also use the actual med kit, but yeah, we're not going to be able to do much to help Chewie through there. Now we're not using weapons, so 
that thing is not going to be massively useful to us, but it's still still worth having in there. Hmm. Let's uh. Little bit of draining just at the end. I wonder, is it possible to push barrels? Not at this level, I suspect. That works, though. Just to make it a bit safer for when we return. Sure, that, that seems fine. Ow. Oh, that did not work according to plan. Alright. Uh, let's quick load. So we are pretty beat up. But that's alright. Ow. Right, let's get as much horsepower as we can before we go around this corner. Because I want to drain this guy. Man, how did he manage to get another shot off after we had our saber in his face? <laughs> I would have thought that would be a little bit more fatal, but never mind, never mind. Right, a little bit extra shield. Still on our way to turn off that tractor beam. Hey! Certain. Too gruesome to show on camera. Ooh. That felt like it would have cut his leg off. Right, so that's some kind of lift. That's definitely some kind of power core. I think we're going up. Get some speed going, ow. Oh, he is dead. Okay, that's it for the Raven's Claw. Now for the Falcon. There we go. The tractor beams are down, Chewbacca. I'm on my way. I don't see this going badly at all. Can we just go down this way? No, apparently not. Can we go out? <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. That is very strong glass. We might actually have to just use something in the lift. Oh no, it does just... Ooh. Was that a secret part way up? I, I would quite like to, to go back, please. Right, let's... Let's reload that. We 
that not activate it? Okay, they're definitely done. Yeah, we just can't get in there. Oh well. Oh, maybe that's where we came in, actually. Hi, Chewy. the other one over there and you of course we haven't forgotten you I'm gonna use this guy as a med kit The anime doesn't feel quite as good on this as it did on previous games. We're playing on a higher difficulty. And still it's... They're not, they're not flanking, they're not doing anything weird like that. Hey, Kyle. Oh, did I miss something? Better believe it. <laughs> good to see you too, Chewie. I guess these mercs didn't want us here. <laughs> oh, that's high praise coming from a Wookiee. Thanks, I think. These mercs aren't cheap. Someone in this cult must have a lot of credits. I, I think they were or cheap. Worse, Did you see how they died? The Listen, we gotta get back to Luke and tell him what's going on. Can you tell Leia about the cult? <laughs> If he hadn't shown up when he did, I'd have been in a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, well, the way Chewie tells it, you held your own. Nice work. Kyle told me about what happened to Moss Eisley. It's a good thing Chewie was there, but you did well regardless. It looks like this cult and the Imperials may be working together more closely than we thought. Okay, well, a uh, bit of force jump, some force pull, lots of force push. Um... Yeah, some drain. Drain's not brilliant. I'm not not completely enamoured by it, so we'll have to see how things pan out. We've been looking into the shuttle crash, and it doesn't look like laser damage or mechanical failure was responsible. It's almost as if something just tore apart the engines. Ooh. Okay, well, that's going to be a good point to finish this episode off. Uh, thank you very much for watching, everyone. Uh, nice and short. I think these missions are going to go past quite quickly. Uh, but if you are enjoying these videos, be sure to give a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, then you should do so, and you'll be told when the next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for some more Jedi Academy. See you soon.